Head coach, Mr. Pampilia, Mihailo Kazembe. Coach, yeah. tough game. Uh, I know you came here looking for a positive result. You wanted to be aggressive tonight. You're up against a strong team. Just your impressions of tonight's game, please. Bonjour, coach. Je sais que c'était un, un match difficile. Je sais que vous êtes venu ici pour uh, un, un résultat favorable. Quel, quelle est votre impression après le, le résultat? Merci uh, pour la question. Thank you for the question. Moi, je crois que C'est vrai, nous sommes venus ici pour chercher des points. I believe that we came here to, to get results. C'est vrai, l'équipe de Sundowns a commencé par marquer le but. It's, it's also true that uh, Sundowns uh, scored first. Et après, on a poussé pour uh, revenir au score et chercher le but de, de la victoire. And we tried to score to equalize. C'est vrai, ce qui mm. n'a pas été possible, nous avons poussé, nous avons eu des occasions de but. We tried, we, we had some couple of occasions that we couldn't convert. Et la défense de l'équipe de Ma Mélodie était en place et ils nous ont vraiment bien contenu. The defense uh, contained us, the, the play very well, so we couldn't score. Et aussi, ils ont eu à maîtriser à chaque fois qu'ils ont récupéré le ballon, ils l'ont maîtrisé et même par rapport à notre pressing, ils nous ont bien maîtrisé. So we tried to press them that they were in control. Anytime we tried to press them, Et sur ce, pour finir, euh, par rapport à la question, euh, donc félicitations et bravo à l'équipe de Sundowns. So, congratulations to, to Sundowns, they deserve to win. Coach, of course, before I hand over to members of the media, you're still in the group. I mean, the other game also finishing goalless today. So, not all lost for TP Mazembe just yet. I mean, a tough two games for you. But the one consolation is that you have not yet been eliminated from the tournament. Vous êtes, vous êtes, vous êtes toujours dans la compétition. Vous pouvez toujours vous qualifier parce que le... Le, le, le match euh, qui s'est joué au Soudan, je crois, c'était 0-0. Euh, maintenant, qu'est-ce qui va se passer vous avez, ouais. vous avez encore, vous avez deux matchs difficiles à, à, à jouer. C'est vrai, la chance n'est pas encore perdue. As here, we still have a chance to, to get through. La chance est encore là. Nous allons jouer les deux matchs. Il y a un match à l'extérieur en Algérie et un match à la maison. So we're gonna play. We, we have two games. We're gonna play away in Algeria and one at home in Camelondo. C'est à nous de, de bien négocier ces deux matchs-là et la qualification sera là. I, I believe that we can we can win the two games and then we if we, if we, we if we do that we go through. Members of the media, can I open the floor to you? Anyone on the line as well with a question? Please just raise your hand. Please, guys. Yes, sir. Coach, vous avez, vous avez joué deux fois contre Sundowns. Aujourd'hui, ça, ça paraît un peu plus facile pour Sundowns. Qu'est-ce qui vous a paru difficile jouer contre Sundowns par rapport à ces deux, deux rencontres? Bon, moi, je crois que le match d'aujourd'hui, c'est vrai, ils ont marqué en premier, mais moi, je crois que Le match d'aujourd'hui a été différent de celui qu'on a joué à la maison. I, I think that the game uh, play the game today was different than the play the play in, in Lubumbashi. C'est vrai. Ce qui a été un peu compliqué pour nous et difficile, c'est que on n'a pas pu euh, être vraiment dans le bon timing par rapport à notre pressing et pour récupérer de bons ballons. So we couldn't like uh, today. We couldn't really, really get the ball when we wanted and to, to do a, con a counter attack. Simplement parce qu'on a on a fait le pressing en alternative, un à un. Il y a un qui va et les autres sont attentistes. Et après, c'est toujours passé dans le vide. Mais si on arrivait à faire le pressing eh, dans le bon timing, pressing, couverture, cadrage du ballon, mais je crois qu'on pouvait s'en sortir mieux. The question, I think uh, our problem today, we, could, we didn't press as a team. We press one player, but not the other player. So that's why... Sundowns could have could play easily because we didn't press as a team. C'est vrai, quelquefois on a eu à récupérer des bons ballons. Et bah bon, il y a eu euh, 
à chaque fois des mauvais choix entre so, les passes et les frappes au but. So we, we, we get some, you know, we, 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 we managed to get some uh, goals uh, from uh, play for Sundowns, but uh, the last, uh, we, we couldn't, we couldn't score. Est-ce que vous pensez que Sundance pourrait aller, euh, pourrait aller et gagner cette, cette compétition? Bon, euh, moi je crois que de la manière dont ils sont en train de jouer, I think the way they are playing, ils peuvent aller loin dans cette compétition. They can really go far, very far in this competition. Guys, I think I'll just take a question there from Mr. Iragi Ilia. Can we just get a question there from, from Congo? Yes, sir, we can hear you. Oui, coach. C'est vrai que le match, on a senti que vous avez eu un mauvais résultat, mais que le match était bien plus consistant que le match allait. Est-ce que vous retenez de ces résultats? Est-ce qu'il y a des leçons que vous avez tirées? So I, so I can say that the, the first game that you play, the first game that you play is... Uh, It was different than today. Today we can say that some good, good. Uh, it was good in the, the first game. What, what do you think for today? What do you get? What is the lesson that you got today from compared to the first game? C'est vrai, comme j'ai dit, euh, les deux matchs sont différents. Donc celui qu'on a joué à la maison et celui qu'on vient de jouer là, c'est différent. Mais bon, la leçon est que. Cette équipe de Sundowns est une équipe vraiment trop technique qui, qui a bien maîtrisé la situation sur le terrain. Voilà la, la leçon la plus intéressante pour moi, c'est qu'ils ils sont parvenus à, à nous priver du ballon à quelques fois. So, as I can say, yeah, uh, the two games were different, but the Sundowns were really, really. Uh, we couldn't play because they had the ball and we couldn't play and they have more than 70% of the, the ball that uh, uh, sometimes a good team. I think unless there are, uh, I think there's two more that I see. Uh, Belile, question from you, please. Thank you. Thank you, Mjezo. Um, Akush, Belile from here in South Africa. Um, after four matches played, only two points on the board and bottom of the log. This is so unlike um, Mazembe. Um, but the other team, Al Hilal in the Serbia Lufidad, are on three points. What can you say about your campaign um, so far, um, the struggles um, that you are having? And do you, do you still think, uh, especially with the, the next game away in Algeria, you still have a chance? It's inappropriate for Mazembe. It's the first time Mazembe has two points and the du pool. Euh, bon, même si les deux équipes ont trois points, euh, qu'est-ce que vous pensez du match que vous allez jouer contre euh, euh, vous allez jouer en Algérie? Moi, je crois que rien n'est encore perdu. I believe we can still go through. Et une chose que nous devons, que vous devez savoir aussi, que cette saison, l'équipe était en reconstruction. Il faut qu'on se dise des choses en face. Donc, il y a eu. Euh, Beaucoup de jeunes qui sont arrivés dans l'équipe, on était pratiquement dans la reconstruction, mais bon, les exigences et les obligations du club, Mazembe veut toujours aller loin, veut toujours faire mieux, mais bon, avec ceux-là qu'on a, on doit so, jouer avec pour so espérer what, faire what mieux. So, what I can say that uh, we're trying to rebuild the team is, and even though for Mazembe we have to want to win uh, any to, any tournament we're in, but uh, we're trying to rebuild the team, so we bring we, we are bringing some young players, so. That's what it is. So they are learning as well. Et aussi euh, pour compléter, donc euh, ça va de mieux en mieux parce qu'il y a toujours des changements, il y a toujours une euh, évolution. Donc on est en train de progresser. Voilà pourquoi je dis que je, je crois encore en cette équipe et je crois encore en ces joueurs parce qu'il y a toujours euh, une évolution. Nous sommes en train de monter et nous pouvons encore faire mieux que ce qu'on vient. De so faire. I believe it's getting better and better. And as I say, I'm rebuilding the team, and I still have fifth in, in the team. And uh, I guess I, I, I hope and I know that we're going to get through. Okay, thank you, Isaac. I think we'll take a last question from Congo, unless there's one pressing one to the floor. But just Isaac first, from over to you. Isaac, can you hear us? Sorry, Isaac, we're waiting for you. 
But okay, I think uh, we've lost Isaac. Okay, we'll take the last question from you. Uh, from Asava, uh, I think, uh, would you say that the conditions are up against you this evening? Obviously, you guys normally play in the in the afternoon out in uh, Mazembe, where it's very, very hot, 35 to 40 degrees Celsius. Do you think that was first and foremost one of the reasons why you lost here? And secondly, Tom, uh, you normally play on the Astro turf, and this is a, 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 a proper pitch, a grass pitch. Did you also say that might also be the reason why you performed the way that you did this evening? Thank you. Est-ce que vous pensez que le fait de jouer à, à les après-midi et vous jouez généralement à Mazembe, la température n'est pas la même, et puis euh, le terrain que vous avez joué aujourd'hui pourrait, euh, pourrait justifier le résultat? Moi, je crois que ce n'est pas une raison. Ce n'est pas une, there's, une there's raison. No, it's not a reason. Jouer sur un terrain à pelouse naturel et par rapport aussi au temps, c'est vrai, on a joué à 18h, moi je ne vois pas le changement, il n'y a rien qui, qui change, ce n'est pas une raison, c'est vrai, nous acceptons sportivement que nous avons perdu le match. No, it does, it's, there's no excuses, we lost the game, so playing at 6 o'clock, there, there are no excuses, we just lost the game against a better team. Et c'est à nous de travailler encore durement pour encore jouer les deux prochains matchs en espérant gagner de points pour nous qualifier pour la suite de la compétition. I think we have to work hard and uh, win the two games and get, uh, get through the, game, the, the, the group. Coach Kazembe, we thank you for your time, sir. We wish you safe travels back home. Thank, thank you. Tough you so night much. tonight, but still lots to play for in the group. Thank, thank you. you for your thank time. Thank you, coach. Thank you. These guys will be joined by the Sundance teams for Shippy. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Thank you. Coach Munigiti, thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, coach, you wanted a polished professional performance and you wanted the job done tonight. Uh, that was the case this evening. You wanted to go through uh, after this game. Uh, your, your impressions of your team tonight? Uh, <clears throat> I think first off, we, we showed purpose. We, we kept the ball better. Find some good moments in the half spaces with our eights. Rivaldo played a very big role in uh, our build up from the back with Roshin and uh, Musade Bosa. We, but I still believe in the consolidation phase we did better, but in the attacking third, we, we made a lot of mistakes technically and we ended up losing possession in moments where we were not under tremendous pressure. And if you were to check most of their very dangerous moments, where those moments when we lose possession just in and around the D-line, and uh, when they catch us from there, we relied a lot on counter-pressing, which I think Lebu did very well, Pizzo did very well, Mshishi and Kaston also helped with Peter directing play to one side. But we were playing against a very good team. Uh, 
anything could have happened. That's why we, we decided to defend more with the ball today, which at times we, we did not keep it as much as one would have loved because there's always an element of excitement at some point at back heel and all that, and you lose position and you find yourself under pressure. But uh, the reason why we wanted to defend with the ball a lot is because we knew area, they are aerial threats. They, they are a very big team. The two center backs are tall, Chongo and Muepu. The 16 Kofi in the midfield is tall. Their striker number nine they started with is also very tall. And uh, generally, they were going to, to outplay us if they had a lot of set pieces. So which is why we decided that we want to have the ball more and frustrate them a little bit. And we knew that our field is a little bit big with a better possession, game will do better better consolidation phase and not always looking to, to penetrate and force it. But as soon as we do that we and we get caught, it was always dangerous for us. But generally, I think we, we played well, considering that we are playing against a very, a very good team, I must say. Coach, you said this week that uh, whether you finish top or second, you're still guaranteed a, a tough opponent in the next round. However, you do uh, qualify as winners, as, a, as guaranteed winners this evening. That must be satisfactory for you. Not very satisfactory because the, our focus is more on the process. It's, for, it's more on what we want to achieve in a match, tactically and maybe technically, which is more just an application. Uh, it, it's those matches where you have won and you, you have qualified in the group, but you are saying you could have kept the ball better. You could have taken better decisions. I, I still believe it, it was not a one nil match. I think we could have still had maybe three, four goals in this match. Had we taken some of the chances that we got, but uh, be that as it may, it's comforting to know that we, we got six points against Mazembe. I think that is a very big thing for us. And uh, having qualified, in my honest opinion, I still want to win the last two matches. And I think the coaches are working very hard. The whole team is working very hard to make sure that we, we keep the fight. Uh, the analysis department is working very hard. The conditioning department has done a lot of good work. The medical team has made sure that we've got almost all the players back in the team now, which is very encouraging. So a lot is going well and the management is supporting us. The president, uh, is also supporting us. So we don't have an excuse. We have to try our level best to give a better show than the show that we gave today. I think we, we are capable of, of playing far better than how we played today. Guys, I'll take the turn on the floor, please. Good evening, Coach. Uh, congratulations on the win and obviously qualifying for the next round. Uh, Coach, I think in the, in the first half and also to some extent in the second half, we had two number 10s, Justin Serena as well as St. Titi Zwan. They were floating in around when they when the got the ball at feet. And you've got a lot of technical players, which, which looks like it's a minimum required at sundowns. Tactically as well, I mean, there's also been zero, one, 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 one touch, two passes, that's all that he does. How satisfied are you with these three players? Because as you know, the two teams and the coach previously said that he, he did, they tried to, to press, but they couldn't. That's how good you are. So how satisfied are you with those uh, technically gifted players and tactically always because they understand what is happening in around them? The truth of the matter is, uh... That's the structure of the team. That's uh, our strength. Uh, we've got a lot of players that can really do very well in that number 10 space. Unfortunately, we, we could not uh, showcase Kapinga today because of the injury. Uh, Vila is also coming back and is looking strong. But what Nshishi and Gaston does uh, was the plan because at times we'll play with a double white. But today we felt we wanted to to frustrate the number 16 Kofi in the, in the central midfield and, and, and force him to always have two people in and around him because they wanted to come at us. And we knew we've got two number eights who might force even Kofi to want to jump in and to Mkulisi and, uh, and Lebu. Then if that is the case, then now the question is, how do you deal with, uh, with uh, Gaston and Shishu in the number 10 positions? And our other playmakers are the fullbacks because if you jump into Mshishi as a fullback and you jump into into Gaston as a fullback, the next question is who is going to take care of Tapelo or Lyle in those uh, wide channels? So 
it's 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 something that we've been working on very strong, but uh, it always comes out better when you are playing against a team that is a little bit disparate, uh, that is opening themselves up a little bit, that is trying to press you from the top. Uh, games like those are always interesting for us. We we're always looking forward to such matches. Please. <clears throat> First, uh, when you ask about the last two matches, uh, my I think personally, as a coach, I'm driven more by winning matches. If you can check my records, even in the in the lower leagues where I coach, because I'm the fortunate coach to have coached in all the divisions. When I won the ABC Motsepe League, I think I won the first 15 matches of the league uh, because I don't like to lose. Even in smaller teams where uh, Golden Arrows or Mazulu, or, I, I don't lose a lot. I don't remember my team losing 4 nil. I don't remember my team uh, really, really losing because even in small-sided games, in small-sided games, I, I don't like to lose. Friendly matches, I, I don't want to lose. And I'm working with top coaches. I must also give credit to the people that I work with. Steve Kompela is a top coach. He provides a lot of leadership in the team. Coach Ulan is a top coach. He provides a lot of uh, technical and tactical work within the team. And uh, that combination should always uh, settle for something better. You, you cannot be satisfied that now you are qualified in the group because if you, if you allow yourself to lose easy in the last two matches, psychologically that might have an impact and you, because you have started losing and you have allowed possibilities for people to see that you can also lose. And you are, you are bringing a little bit of panic in the team. So if you can still win, go for it because it's, it's always important. And personally, I'm, I'm the worst guy when, when you lose matches. People know that, that work with me. I don't like to lose. And <clears throat> yeah, man, when we brought Lebu here, because I remember we followed Lebu when he was still playing for Bombella. He's all, for me, he's always been an eight, and uh, I fought very hard for him to come to Sundowns as an eight, because I believed even then when, when we were playing against them in the Netbin Cup as Ed Mbombela. But we missed that opportunity. We, we only got him when he was at Marisberg. So as an eight, he's got a very high octane game. Uh, and that's what you want. That's, that's what you want to, to, to do as a big team. As a big team, you want to have very intensive number eight, which is why uh, Pizzo, Lebu, AJ are competing for that space because there's a lot of counter pressing and at times a little bit more mobility because at times your white players, your Gaston, your Mshishi are late to, to go to the fullbacks and the ability of an eight to be able to shift immediately towards the fullback and the other eight to pivot and create a double screen in front of your defense, it, it becomes very important. So you need a little bit more mobility. And at times when people see other players not playing, they, they complain, but the intensity at times is, is, is the deciding factor in what you want to achieve as a team. And uh, Lebu is one of the best. If you can check his data analysis, it will tell you how many times he regains possession, how many times he presses, how many times he finds himself in the, in the final third, how many times he's in the gray zone, in the D line. And uh, that's no wonder he's also getting goals and assists from those positions because he's available and it, it asks for a lot. If you check the mileage, he's averaging between 11 and 13 kilometers per match. And that is what you are looking for from, from an eight. And I cannot ask for more. Even Kulis is a young boy, but believe me, he gives, he gives a lot. He gives a lot to the team. Guys, I'll just quickly take one or two online questions before we go back to the press conference room. I think Tosin Holmes, I think the, uh, you had a question earlier. Are you still there? Yes, I do have a question. Please, sir, go ahead. Okay. Um, I'd like to ask the coach, uh, Coach Mankova, 
Um, important win today for the team. Became the first team to book the place in the uh, quarterfinals of the CAF Champions League. How, um, how special is it for Sundowns? Because this is something that we're not seeing. The team is unbeaten this season uh, in three competitions. How important is it to keep this momentum going? And um, what does it mean for the boys and the team and the coaching staff to be creating history of this sort? <clears throat> I think that's 25 games unbeaten in all competitions now, coach. Yeah, but to be honest, it's not something I'm focusing more on. Our focus is, is on each game that comes. And to be honest, for Sundowns to qualify for the quarterfinals, it's what is expected. We, we, we can't be saying we have done something very big by qualifying for the quarterfinals because that's what we've been doing for, for all these years. And knowing that this season is a little bit tighter, uh, if you were to look at our last league matches in, in May, <clears throat> you you will realize that it, it requires that whatever we do, we do quicker in the Champions League to 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 give ourselves a little bit of a breather. Uh, even in the league, it would be nice to arrive in the last five matches not looking for too many points, because at that time it's uh, it's going to be very tight for us. If you look at our May program, so the team is responding. The players seemingly have bought into our playing concept. Uh, we are allowing a little bit more of a game. Uh, we, we don't even encourage a lot of long balls and high balls unless we are forced by circumstances. So the team has got the material to, to perform the way they perform. We, we just get excited when, when they make sure that we don't lose matches. But we also get more excited when we, we keep a clean sheet because we know if we keep a clean sheet, we, we are guaranteed to score a goal. Sundowns has got a goal somewhere. There is a goal at Sundowns. So, so far, we one is encouraged, I must say. But uh, it's a very long road. We, we, we know there is still a lot to be done. We can't get carried away. Our humility is becoming more and more important that our players understand that we must keep our feet on the ground and respect the game because the game can always show you flames. So we are, we understand what is expected of us, and we always try to give our best shot. Tapang, just quickly from you, um, Coach Tapang from Sokala Duma. Um, you mentioned Vela earlier on, so I just wanted to check how far is Vela. And you know, in a team like Sundowns, where we there's so many stars, we tend to forget about players like Vela. But just do you miss a player like him in the team? And when he comes back, do you see him being able to break into that team? Yeah, we, we've we got him in the team because we know the quality that he presents within the team. We just lost, lost Kemet now. Uh, so there might be need to have somebody up top who can also retain possession and give us direction where we can start establish play from. And we also need more cover from Shishi for, for Gaston, for for Kapinga, who is also injured, to make sure that we always have uh, sufficient creative players within our team. Uh, we also have other youngsters that are really coming up nicely. Uh, in Promise Mukuma, the Busquet, others don't know him, but he's one of the top players that is coming. Very soon he's going to get a chance and he will shock a lot of people. So we, we, we've got confidence on, 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 on what we have in the pipeline, but what is more important at Sundowns, we cannot be content when she, she's doing well or when Gaston is doing well or when Kapinga is doing well. So it's always important that if something happens, what plan do you have? That's why we have Mutupa also coming up. We have uh, Afonso starting now. Uh, Villa is, is showing very good signs. He was part of the 20 today. So we are, we are, we are looking forward to, to also relaunching players like those to, uh, to make sure that we've got a bigger depth. I think this season we have played more than more than 34 players already, which is very good because you we've got too many competitions and everybody must have confidence uh, that he's got a chance. We still have Grand Mahaman, who was in the 20 when we went to Cape Town, but today could not make it because we had to crunch the numbers for Kev because Kev does not need as many players as, as the PSL. So we, we, we respect the fact that we've got players like Villa and they can come in at the right time and help the team. Guys, just quickly back in the room before we go to Timba online. <clears throat> Please. Uh, Coach, I mean, it sounds like we're just singing our players, but uh, you know, some 
know, like you think this is how you know, what it, I've been struck by how easy he seems to have gelled, you know, within this team. I mean, like I'm just talking about the game to day, uh, within the previous match. And Denis Ogango, and then I think double digits in terms of uh, absences, uh, of killer, and so that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm not surprised with how Roshin is playing because technically we, we brought him here knowing what he's capable of giving us offensively. Uh, we also know his strength aerially. There are still some areas of his defensive game that must still improve, but uh, the good thing is that at Sundowns, we can always protect some of the challenges uh, from any player because you go to Musa, he's got some of the challenges defensively. You go to Ricardo, he's got some of the challenges, but with a high press, with a lot of work from people up top, then you've got very good playmakers from the back because with Roshin, with Ricardo, with Musa, you know the passing game is always at the, at the right level and chances of them making a technical mistakes are minimal. I think I once said before that I also see him playing as a central midfielder in future. And I'm sure people now are beginning to believe that that is possible because his, his range of passing is unbelievable. But uh, as a center back, he is encouraging. I must, I must be honest. Chief, I see in a Sutu shirt at the back there. So I think we'll take you back to KZN briefly. Yes, please. Uh, uh, coach, um, not every team rocks up and beats City Madrid twice in one campaign. Um, how big a message do you think that Sundowns is sending to the continent with such a result? Yeah, no. It, it's true. I, I doubt no, not many teams can beat Mazembe twice in a row. It's very difficult. They are a very difficult team. But uh, to be honest, I would not want to focus on the message we are sending out there because that message is also making our life a little bit difficult because everybody checks himself up when he's going to play us because he thinks uh, he, he must look for every minor detail because there is no way this team can win against Mazembe twice in a row and they've got nothing. So when you dig deeper, you'll always find uh, my dirty linen and I, I, I don't like that part. You know? Because there, there are areas of our game that we are still working very hard as coaches to improve. But uh, truth be told, the boys are, are working very hard and they are showing interest in, in the game. And uh, they are not hiding on, in the passing game because at times when you want a team to play a, a proper passing game, you'll find that others, they run away because they feel with the stress of losing the ball and counter attacks and all that makes them to hide. But so far, because maybe they are realizing that it's working, the triangulation that we have, the structure that we have, our rest defense structure, our, the way we break the press when we need to break the press, the way we press high, high when we need to press high. They, they are beginning to, to buy into the idea and one must once again really comment the work that is done, not only by myself, we, we've got a whole lot of good people that work very hard in different departments in the team. And as a coach, uh, I'm encouraged with what I see behind. Okay. And coach, looking forward, no? This is when you have got the uh, Your college manager, William Sasconded. How big of a loss is going to be in terms of William not being in a very good position? It's a big loss, eh? It's a big loss. And it's worse when you look at uh, why he's suspended, because at times there are these suspensions that we get. I also had one this season, but I know that I did not do anything. Uh, and I look at Peter Sharulile's one, I also know what he was fouled. Then if you get fouled and you are suspended, it's always something else. But maybe it was better that it happened then, because I was a little bit worried that at the time when it happened, it looked like uh, he might get the second, which would take him out of some very important matches coming. So we are happy that he's only missing one match. It's a big loss. It's very important to us. He scores almost every match. But uh, we trust in the team we have. We trust. Uh, we, we, for the next match, we've lost both Kemet and, and Peter, who have always been sharing that space. But fortunately, Afonso is coming back. Villa is coming back. And 
There is also Mahalo, by the way, uh, he's coming and he's, he was in the team today, he was unfortunate not to get a chance. So we are confident we've got, we've got players that can always help the team to score. And fortunately, we are not only reliant on, on strikers to score at Sundowns. We've had a lot of goals coming from Shishi, Lebu, uh, and defenders are even scoring. So we are hopeful we will survive, but it was very sad because I don't think it deserved to be suspended. Okay, guys, last two questions. Timba, I'll take one from you that I know you've been waiting for a while. Timba, can we get your question from, from online, please? No, no, no. I did I did put across that uh, it was about Rushin Deru, but Maskepe asked the question. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll take the last question from you, please, guys. Yes, please. I want to ask the question because of how much work you've done. The time is under the middle and now you're uh, encouraging the team. You know, this thing will pick up a lot of you guys to work under the middle and you know that the competition to be there. The least I can tell you is that this is one of the best decisions that a father can take. Shopi uh, is a very good boy, very intelligent, very humble, very principled. And for me, the, there is no chance that he will fail. And he also has us as adults to assist him. And uh, because he's humble, it's easier for him to grasp all the right information that can make him a top leader. And uh, honestly speaking, I'm looking forward to, to seeing him taking charge because I know what he's capable of. Fortunately, he's been working with us in many other projects within the team. And uh, one thing I can tell you, if you have not met him, he's a very good person. You, you, will, you will like him. He is he's destined to become one of the best leaders that can lead Sundowns, and I'm very confident he will make it. Guys, I'm afraid we have to wrap it there. Coach, we thank you for your time, for the members of the media. Thank you very much, Coach. Well done tonight. I think anyone who needs the recording, please send me a WhatsApp, and then I will send you the recording. Thank you.